and Anton, they danced in China in 2010. They went to China and danced at the Expo 210 and through the universities and the high school. And I've also performed in a lot of uh, key uh, um, engagements in Perth where um, for government, royalty and everything. So now we've got some little dances with them. We're going to do the kangaroo dance. And the music that we play is from uh, Richard Wally. You follow the mate of it. Richard Wally is my little granny, my nephew. And he's did we do music. So the first dance is the kangaroo dance. Imitating the kangaroo. That's because in the old days, the Nungas never had any firearms or anything to shoot the kangaroo. So they had to learn to dance and to imitate the kangaroo. To make the kangaroo come over to them thinking that they were another kangaroo coming to try to push them off their land. So then they'd come close and the Nungas were able to spear the kangaroos. Of course, out of the can from the kangaroo, we get our kangaroo skin clothes and plenty of food. So the second one is the Indian dance. Right, kids. <laughs> 